Mr. Sylvester was very much influenced by other people and other people's achievements. What they achieved, he felt he ought to be able to achieve. And if he was able to achieve those things, then he would become more of a real person. They could play the guitar. They had read Lord of the Rings. And the latest thing that Mr. Sylvester heard about was someone who walked the Pennine Way. And he thought, if only I walked the Pennine Way, then the secrets of the universe would be revealed to me. The Pennine Way is between Yorkshire and Lancashire. And it's a set of hills, the Pennines, which is known as the backbone of England. And it's a particularly hard walk of about 200 miles. Mr Sylvester had been thinking about this walk along the Pennine Way for quite a long time. But Mr Sylvester wasn't particularly fit. And he didn't even know whether he could but walk at all, let alone walk the Pennine Way. Anyway, one summer holiday, he persuaded Mrs Sylvester to go with him on this walk on the Pennine Way in rough sleeping in a tent. They started at a place called Mallon Tarn, and it seemed to rain all the time. Somebody said to them, don't think it like a bad summer, just think of it as a, a good winter. This wasn't much consolation to them, and after a very, very hard day's walking, in the pouring rain and horrible wind, they approached the highest pub in England. It was known as Tan Hill. They were exhausted and they thought we'll have a nice meal, a drink and a bed for the night. The only problem was that they only had £20 and Tan Hill didn't take any plastic. No credit cards or bank cards. You had to have cash. There was a field by the pub where you could pitch your tent for one pound. So for Mr and Mrs Sylvester, there was the choice. Either we pitch the tent for one pound and have a meal and a drink, or we have the bed and breakfast and don't have any food because they only had £20 and the bed and breakfast was £20. They decided to have the meal and the drink and sleep in the tent on the campsite for one pound. The meal and the drink were wonderful. They had it by the fire in the pub and then the time came for them to go out to the tent to sleep in the tent. As they were settling down, Mr Sylvester said to Mrs Sylvester, what a pity we couldn't have slept in those crisp, clean sheets in that nice, warm pub. Mrs Sylvester, ever the optimist, said, Yes, but just imagine, if we didn't have the £20 cash, we wouldn't have been able to have the meal and the drink. And, and we'd have just had to have gone our, on our way and found somewhere to pitch the tent. Mr Sylvester, Oh yes, that would have been enough to make even Bear Grylls weep. <laughs>